What's up guys, it's your boy Frogs in a boy and today's video Carmen Ryder is going down So today we're talking about Carmen Ryder or a peculiar channel She uploaded this absolute masterpiece a few weeks ago and by absolute masterpiece I mean totally brain that takes that you would expect from an undeveloped deformed child exposed to radioactive waste Except, they will have more brain cells than she does. Carmen Ryder is also known for doing questionable things in the past. Definitely Bar Oranges made a good video covering that topic if you want to know more. Recently, Carmen Ryder uploaded a video called The Ridiculous Nature of anti Lollies. Trying to find a valid argument in this video is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Except there is no needle in the first place. That's how brain reducing the video is. Carmen Ryder here. And Virgo here back for another commentary. Oh man, I should leave this video about two funny PNG of anime movement. They managed to make their videos feel more empty than how I feel every morning. And surely, they will bring up value arguments, right? Actually, there's no point in saying that as some sort of a joke because the video that Carmen made is about defending Lollicon and I don't need to explain even further. Today, we're going over another anti lolly Not another Britney Venti. Yep. Now before we get into it, let's take a look at the thumbnail of the video. Haven't even clicked on the video and we already have straw manning. Not only are you strawmanning, your strawman is wrong. Anyways, let's, let's get, get into, into it. If you think that anime and media created to appeal to otakus provides an accurate depiction of Asian culture and people, honey, you've got a big storm coming. You're, You're not, not funny. funny. This is definitely one of the most bravest commentators to ever exist. Saying you're not funny as a counter argument. Can we have a round of applause for the absolute bravery? This is definitely one of the most revolutionary YouTube channel I've ever seen in my entire life. Also, what is the point of the text to speech in this video? You already have a voice. So why do you need one more? I mean, if you're trying to be inclusive by representing schizophrenic people, then I didn't really mind. Funny. Also, the only people who actually believe that anime reflects reality are people under the age of 16. Alright, hi fairies. I'm a diva, not a fairy. Just because I share the same VAs one doesn't mean I'm one. What the fuck are you talking about? This happens in every video. Then fucking re-record your lines like a responsible adult. Oh no guys, putting a blooper in your videos makes it irresponsible. <laughs> you know what else is irresponsible? Liking bullies. I don't, I don't even know how this is supposed to be an argument. We're just bringing up stupid shit like woman, that is not how you pronounce that word. Or simply, you're not funny. Okay, so it's, you know, the cutesy cutesy kind of art style. I wouldn't call it an art style, I'd call it a term for an edge range of character. So basically, an art style then. Because it's an art style that's main characteristic is individuals that look like children. If you're wondering that what I'm trying to say is there is a community of people, a very large group of people on the internet that is completely dedicated towards the creation, creation and distribution of what is basically CP. They're not real children. They're fucking drawing, so it isn't CP. What what drawing is it then? A fucking elderly woman? No shit, it's a drawing. Thanks for pointing out the most obvious thing, buddy. Speaking of obvious things, Lolicon is CP. This shouldn't be a debate in the first place. The definition of Lolicon is the sexual attraction to young girls, and the art resembles a child, so it is CP. A lolly is a child. I don't, I don't give a shit if it claims a million years old or whatever the fuck these people come up with. Like, he also said, and I was for an age today of characters that are 12 year olds. You said it yourself, they're literally children. Also, does anyone get gotcha life vibes from this video? Watching a soulless anime girl with three different expressions talking over a Gmod background just reminds me of the average gotcha life content that you see on YouTube. The reason actual CP is morally wrong is because CP hurts actual children physically and mentally. Lollies and shoujins aren't real, thus any pain they feel has no real consequences. Just because they are fictional doesn't make them good. It, it's, it's literally a drawing of a child. It, it's still children. So if you find yourself aroused by drawings of children, you're a pedophile. It's sexualizing children. I don't know why this should be pointed out, but it seems that common sense is slowly fitting away because of people like this. Consequences. Then you are correct. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. That's enough internet for today. You're, You're not, not funny. funny. It just fills me with joy to hear that same monotone voice and a text speech repeating the same thing. Thinking that's actually an argument, but instead you're just acting as a brain dead individual 
bringing up the same argument like a lunatic. If you're like eight, I will, I will understand. The pricks will use who ass as a valid argument. Or in this case, saying you're not funny. And this is actually a much more prolific problem than people think. One of the main things that kind of inspired me to make this video was a poll I saw on a subreddit for Genshin Impact. It's pronounced Genshin Impact. Also, you haven't really explained the problem yet. Oh, yo. So there was a poll on one of their NSFW hentai servers. R slash Genshin Impact hentai. Oh, no. You're, you're not, not funny. funny. Holy fuck, you shut the fuck up. Oh, you're it. Shut the Also, porn of video games is nothing new, so there's really nothing to be upset about. This poll basically asked the entirety of the subreddit if they believe they should ban NSFW artwork of characters that are pretty much depictions of minors. They're called Loli. And what are Lolis depicting? A rotten corpse of a horse that I didn't brutally murder in London in September 1960s. Look man, I, don't, I understand that, that the whole quarantine thing has been hard on everyone, but at this point, just seek help. I'll try to skirt around what the topic at hand is. Britney Venter tried to do this with her child card and ice crap. While the answer to that question may be extremely obvious to us, you're right! The answer is no. 4.8 thousand people said yes. This really do be a 1984 moment and 3.8 thousand said no. That's enough internet for today, which means the ban passed under a slim margin of around 20%. Okay, and you get the result you wanted, right? Why not consider this a win on your part? Almost 4,000 people of the 8,000 that voted chose no. <laughs> That is one very, very real and clear example of this lollycon community and how it kind of exists within other communities. I guess our army is growing faster than I got. And you're proud of that? You, you're proud of having an army of pedophiles? And I thought making another gacha video was the most brain-reducing shit I've ever experienced. Just people like porn, not axe murders. Hey, Jarrod, and I no is rolling with some of violation of a constitutional that right. What if anything that are fucking idiots sense. because everything has porn of it. Well, that video was rather really odd. It was quite a peculiar video, it was rather really a This is truly a commentary moment. It was nice to hear painfully bad arguments about how lollies are good. My eardrums are totally not destroyed from the amount of dumb playing in this video. And the amount of dumb playing lollicons in this video was as big as my mods in Skyrim. Calling lollicons people that just like porn even though the porn in question depicts minus little 12 year olds. Lollies are also banned in several countries. But of course, they're just going to brush it off as a minor inconvenience and just and keep fighting for their army. Of deranged beings. As Carmen said, Lolicons are just people that are passionate about things on the internet. If that's the case, then I must be very passionate about murdering children. Using Rule 34 as an argument is as dense as my upload schedule. Sure, everything has a point of it, that's what Rule 34 is, everyone knows about that. But that doesn't justify, you know, CP. Because you're basically, not basically, you, you're literally just saying that people are idiots for saying the fact that Lolis are bad. Which is known to a lot of people, but not for Carmen Rider and other deranged people. So, Carmen Rider, please touch grass. Seriously, just, just touch grass, go outside, seek therapy because you think that drawings of sexualized children are good just because they don't harm real children and and the fact that it's not even harming real children in some way doesn't mean it's good in fact there's a lolly of subreddit and even they acknowledge that lolicon is a terrible disease now i'm going to stop right here i'm not going to repeat myself anymore just like how common ready does basically every second is view a lot of the points are just you're not funny or it's a drawing and other than that it's just carmen saying nonsense i think we get the point that lolly porn are bad because of you know, I think I think it's obvious. It's all it's pretty obvious. I don't need to repeat myself because there's no point in repeating the same thing over and over again to a person that's basically just a tumor in the commentary community. Anyway, sorry for my shitty upload schedule. I had school, so I had to stop making videos for a bit. I, I probably wouldn't fix the schedule honestly. Also, I've been working on a game review for the past three or four weeks, so keep an eye out for that. It will be my first game review. I'm, I mean, aside from my game reviews that I made on Windows Movie Maker that you definitely shouldn't watch. Unless you want permanent brain damage. That's all for now. M my voice is getting strained. Um. Bye bye.